Minnie is so desperate to have any role models mm -hmm. or anybody to even talk to about what's happening in her life. She starts recording her diary into a cassette tape and she sends fan letters to an artist who she's in, obsessed with named Aileen Kaminsky. And it's kind of all of these little, yeah, signals out into the universe like, somebody please relate to me. Yeah. And then eventually when she gets a response from Aileen Kaminsky, a letter in return, it means so much. Yeah, and Kristen is fantastic in that Kristen role. Kristen is amazing. amazing. And yeah. she had to take on a really difficult role because I think a lot of things that people are sort of um, like to talk about when it comes to female characters are whether they're likable or not. And this is obviously a character who's pretty nepotistic and, mm -hmm. I mean, not nepotistic, narcissistic. Sorry, I have a cold. Um, <laughs> <coughs> she's narcissistic, she's partying, she probably never wanted to become a mom. And uh, so that's a could be considered or called an unlikable character, mm -hmm. but she brings a lot of humanity to her. And she's just, feels like she just stepped right out of the 70s. She's so good. I feel like that whole, like, she's unlikable, especially with female characters, is often just code for, like, she's complicated. She's not a yeah, doormat. Yeah, I'm so over it. Let's she's not a, a girlfriend or the, like, her. mother. Who's she's, like, like yeah. a 3D fleshed out person. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I'm unlikable. I'm deeply unlikable. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs>